Take a seat. Uh, <laughs> David Andrews. It's a, it's a nice name. I like it. Uh, so, how's your morning been? Any feelings of uh, impending doom? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, sorry. This is a little bit awkward for me. You see, I'm not usually... Uh, well, I don't usually deal with people as lively as you are. I'm death. I beg your pardon? Death, as in the opposite of life. <clears throat> This is my intern, Jeffrey. What does Jeff need an intern for? It's a pleasure to be handling your afterlife, Mr. Andrews. Nice shirt. Jeffrey, coffee. You'll we'll have to excuse him. Oh, oh and non fat. Okay, here's the deal, Mr. Andrews. You were meant to die last night in bed, but due to a clerical error, you're a little less. Um, Corpsified than we would have, well, that we considered for. Due to a mistake in the night shift, uh, we've had to schedule this little meeting, which usually takes place when you're dead. And then it's just a matter of picking up the pieces once you cark it. Yes. So, uh, if you don't mind, let's get on with these questions. Okay, so you haven't had any feelings of impending doom? Alright. This is a joke, right? Who would jump in? Soxy? No, I'm afraid not, Mr. Andrews. In the next 12 hours, you are going to die. All right, and it's my job to make sure that this thing doesn't stuff up any more than it already has. Okay, so back to the questions. Um... Okay, wait, 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 wait. One second. If you're meant to be dead, you, you meant to have that big swishy thing. You mean the side? Yeah, that thing. If you're death, you're meant to have a big swishy thing. David. This is the 21st century. What worked in the medieval ages, well, it's just not going to cut it. <laughs> cut it. <sighs> Never gets old. Um, so, now not only am I a collector, but I'm a researcher as well. Um, so, no more scythe, no more skeletons, and thank God, no more chests. Chess? Yeah, it's a long story. So, here I am, and uh, what I need from you now is uh, some information so that we can effectively process your afterlife. You're really dead. Prove it. I'm sorry? If you're really dead, then prove it. Fine. See that girl over there? Yeah. It's not bad. <coughs> Can I get one of those, uh, one of those cookies? <coughs> All right. Now back to these questions. Death. Yes. Um, I'm going to die. So, you weren't expecting to die this week? Uh, like, no premonitions, no waking up in the middle of the night with a cold sweat? My, my girlfriend always said I, the fast food was going to kill me, but I, I, I didn't think I was going to die. So, that's a no. Uh, in case of reincarnation, what would you most like to be? Squirrel? Sure. Okay. It takes all sorts. Uh, right, next question. You see a $50 note lying on the ground. What do you do with it? So, if you were to take a position with us, would you rather be an observer or a researcher like myself? Work for you? Is death some kind of business? We prefer the term non-profit organisation. Radio, uh, I guess observation. Okay, so basically, uh, that's... That's it. All right, so Mr. Andrews, we thank you very much for that. You've really done us a favor and helped us out there. Uh, I'm done with this. Uh, 
And, uh, well, let's get on with it, shall we? Wait, wait, what, what happens to me? Well, I thought that much was obvious. Uh, and we appreciate your consideration and effort in this uh, matter. Thank you. Excuse me, uh, did you see a man here? Uh, just here, he ordered a, a coffee, a cookie, a 